Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to cover a little bit of grammar. Don't worry though, this is rather simple grammar. It is something, however, that lots of people find a little bit confusing. It is the difference between in time and on time. It is amazing how just one little word, and in this case one single letter, can sometimes make a significant difference. Okay, so let's first look at on time. Basically, on time means punctual or punctually. So you can say, I arrived punctually, or I was punctual, but you can also say, I was on time or I arrived on time. It means the same thing. Basically, on time is the opposite of late. The main difference is that on time is a little more common. It's used more often because it's more colloquial language. Let's look at some examples. I always miss the beginning of movies because I am never on time. Time. Next example. Although Eric studied all night, he failed his exam because he did not arrive on time. In other words, he arrived late. I am normally on time for the beginning of happy hour. Eric does not like his economics teacher because she always starts her classes on time. In other words, he is always late. Now here's just a small additional point on on time. On time doesn't necessarily mean that the event occurred at the exact time planned. If, for example, someone is supposed to arrive at 7pm and then he or she arrives at 6.55, you can still say that the person was on time. The emphasis is not on the actual time that an event occurs, but rather that something didn't happen late. In time is very similar, but there is a slight difference in meaning. Basically, the emphasis is on there being sufficient time to do something or on having enough time for something. The opposite of in time is too late. Let's look at some examples. My brother slipped in the mud. Luckily, I arrived in time to see it. My mother-in-law came over this afternoon. Fortunately, I remembered in time and left before she arrived. I missed dinner, but I arrived home in time for dessert and post-dinner drinks. Eric fell into the fountain on his way to the ball. He hoped his clothes would dry in time. Often in time is preceded by just, so we get just in time. This means almost too late. More examples. I was running late but I arrived just in time for my train. Eric was driving and was about to hit a mailbox. He managed to stop just in time. On Facebook, I almost click like on one of his photos from eight years ago. Luckily, I realized just in time. 
So that is it for today, guys. I hope you found this little lesson useful. If you did, please don't forget to click on the thumbs up. And please subscribe if you want to be updated on new videos. If you want to practice what I explained today, don't hesitate to write some practice sentences in the comments below. Uh, be creative, preferably be appropriate, if you know what I mean. In any case, I'll be happy to correct them for you. If you also have uh, any questions or requests for other videos, please also feel free to write them in the comments below. See you next time!